Hey right guys, Trish Munches Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 3 of Grey's Anatomy Season 1. I enjoyed the last episode, we had George flopping around thinking that being a surgeon was going to be great fun, <laughs> and that he's going to save everyone in America or something. Uh, but Meredith kind of uh, showing that she can get stuff done as well, and I'm getting good with these names. What was the other one? It was um, Christina. I like Christina. Christina's a boss. And I forgot everyone else's name. What? What? Oh no! What, what was his name? Derek. I remember Derek. See, I'm getting there. Episode three, we're getting some names down. That's good. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Grey's Anatomy, then Patreon will be linked down below, where they will be ten episodes ahead. So episode thirteen or fourteen of season one. But for now, it's, oh no! I always say this, but I need to remind myself. If there'll be a few episodes into season two because season one is very very short um, yeah let's do this 14 hours a day okay but you've been there for about we're together more than we're apart. three days <laughs> george's room is bigger than mine maybe fair enough we were on season two but you just started meredith after a while i have more clothes i should have the bigger room some people were saying on patreon that meredith annoys them and then George seems to be a bit of a mixed bag. Like, people on Patreon were fighting over whether he's a good character or not. It's like, damn! You're watching, Meredith. Do you want to watch? God, imagine living with George. Meredith, you want some privacy? Oh my god, they're like her two kids. Morning, Dr. Bailey. Shut up. <laughs> Something is happening today. I know I should know what it is, but I just can't. All right, nice talking with you, Dr. Bailey. Yeah, that was exhilarating. Oh, she can see the future. Oh, my God. Yo. Oh, this, they're doing this on purpose. All right, people, dead baby bike race day. Every year, this fall, dead, dead baby, baby bike race. Every year, they hold this underground bike race. So people are just getting shipped into the hospital because they are willingly trying to break their own bones. Okay. Oh, it's like candy, but with blood, which is so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> Christina's all well into this. Whoever said winning wasn't everything. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'll take that guy. You'll have to beat me to him first. Never held a scalpel. Is this, why do they, like, want, uh, I don't know. I just let him die. <laughs> I'd be a great doctor, clearly. They're not even doctors, they're surgeons, but whatever. I think. Ha, Tails, there are plenty of other cases. So go get one. I was here first. I am not backing down so I can do sutures all day while you're up in the OR. Why doesn't the patient pick? To us. Hello. Excuse me, I, I was wondering if you could take these out and sign me up so I could go and win my race. I don't know if you're going to win at this point, mate. Declare him. Declare him what? Brain dead. Damn. Everyone's favourite thing. I bet they have a COVID storyline in like season or to be 18 or something or to season 19. If I even get that far before I die of old age, obviously. Mr. Mackey, no smoking. There's no smoking. Why not? Well, do oh, some of them, short. There you go. The smoking will kill you. Liver cancer will kill me. That bed will kill you. What? This is so cramped. Whatever you need, I'm your man. Just name it. No. I'm sure I'll think of something. Mm. George is gonna have to suck some penis. Probably. I don't know. I don't know if, if, if it's that kind of show. But that's the vibe I got. Keith David. I thought I thought I recognised him. If he doesn't respond to these tests, it's because he's already dead. I'm not actually seeing Keith David in anything, I just know who he is. So when we call time of death, we know that we've done everything in our power to make sure it's actually his time of death. But there isn't going to be any miracles. Yeah, but that doesn't really make sense because you think of all the times someone's been called dead and then come back to life. I should just go into the light already so I can get on another case. You have no sympathy for the living. I'm the devil because I'd rather be in surgery instead of standing watch over the death squad. It's depressing. You're in hospital. It's going to be depressing. Look at his sneakers. Oh, she's going to crack new. the case. It's no, are they? This tear in his shirt. And he has one of those electronic keys. If they're brand new, get a refund. If it belongs to someone, it'd be a waste of organs. 
<laughs> she just starts carving them out already. By the way, you are a rocking babe. Mm. Seriously, do you actually think you have a shot here? I like to think I've got a shot anywhere. With that stinky ass tattoo you got, and that sweaty headband, <laughs> I don't think so. I will do anything you want me to. Go away! What is it with you guys and your new He looks like a giant. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's just testosterone, hey? Maybe. You might want to see a doctor about that too. I bet he stinks of actual poo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just saying it how I see it. Okay. What's happening? That was for good luck. I, no, I think that was sexual harassment, but okay. Yeah, you'll see him in prison. And she doesn't seem that bothered about it. Okay. Maybe I missed on the incredible sexual chemistry between them both. Oh dear. <laughs> How'd you feel if I died? And you didn't get a chance to go out with me. I know what a missed opportunity. You know you're my boss. You know it's against the rules. You know I keep saying no. It's the chase. Well, it's fun, isn't it? You see? I think give up is probably the answer. Because unlike you, I still have something to prove. So you got you got to step down now. Meredith's kind of laid down the law a bit there. There's this VIP patient. He likes me. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah. He likes me, likes me. Go for it, man. It's yours. I'm down with the rainbow. I'm down with the rainbow. <laughs> Are you not gay? No. Really? Dude, sorry. George is very clearly into Meredith. I thought we established that in Ep 1. But then we also established that every guy in the show is into Meredith. Do you... Do you think... Does Meredith think I'm gay? See? He's asking really? if Meredith thinks it. No. Really? See, do you get it? They think he's gay because he's not muscly. <laughs> Or because he's a nerd, it's one or the other. Just... Live. So you think you could give that a shot for me? So either this character's dying or Keith David is dying. One or the other, and we're gonna jot it down in our little book of Grey's Anatomy deaths. Oh, I think you fucked it. Okay. We have three so far. Oh, Stu, he's brain dead. But Izzy, if he's brain dead, you have to let him go. No. It's only been five hours and 33 minutes. He's supposed to get six hours. Well, we can't do anything to help him live. It's not our place to make that call. No, she's... I'm with, um... Nikki. Is that her name? Stand here and do nothing while he dies. He has a right to the next 27 minutes. Hell yeah. Come on, Meredith. This is unlike you. Well, maybe not. I don't actually really know her character, so... You get the blood. We'll transfuse him. Yo, those cars are rapid! What year is this saying? You know, you really do have beautiful eyelashes. Let me look at them. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll back that. He has some nice eyelashes. So he needs surgery. If he's going to remain a viable organ donor, yeah. If he's going to live. Is he? No, I'm not talking about Is he? What did I say? He He lives longer, that's the remember. point. He is an excellent candidate for organ donation. I am a surgeon. I save lives. This guy is already dead. Now, but you were told to go above and beyond. Either whip one out, or close the door. <laughs> You're asking my advice? Yes. Now, who's chasing? Not funny. This is important. Okay. Bro, drop it! She said piss off! You don't have to manipulate me. If you want something, all you have to do is ask. We want you to go over Burke's head to the chief. Uh. Ask me something easier. Ha, <laughs> George, you little goofy guy. It's a shame he's brain dead. If he wasn't, he would be on his feet in a few days. I I'm amazed at what skill your hands have. Oh my god, Gal is awesome. I'm gonna have to dodge Burke for the rest of my career. He could kill me and make it look like an accident. Yeah, probably. Season 2 finale. Oh my god. <sighs> Kevin. Kevin! <gasps> oh my god. We can hold off till morning. But if there's still no change, we'd. We'd like to talk to you about organ donation. So like, yeah, uh, kill him off because then I get all the money. Kevin's coin. That beautiful boy may have found you a liver. Uh, 
Maybe. If the guy wakes up before morning, you ain't getting a liver. God, I smoke good. Ooh. You know what it is. This guy might be worse than George. It's, the of open heart surgery. it's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. You gotta smell me. I don't want to smell you. Oh yes, you do. What's with all these guys? Oh weirdos. Just stay out of my face. And for the record. You smell like crap. I believe it. Again, I bet he smells of sweaty balls. You know what? You might want to leave before I change my mind and left. Before you meet my muscles. <laughs> oh my god, he actually said something. <laughs> god, everyone's simping already. Made me respect George a bit more. At least he's holding back a bit. Not like... Oh, that's about it. Nothing. Oh, don't go kiss... Daniel. We're not having long conversations where we celebrate the moments of our lives. And use a coaster. And get off the table, you try. I ordered Chinese food. Two women cut the harvest. No, it kills me that anybody got the harvest but me. Boobs do not factor into this equation. My son, you want to show me yours? Oh, great, yeah. Let's say that to the... To just... I'm going to become a lesbian. Me too. I'm gonna become a lesbian. I thought she said I'm gonna make him a lesbian. I was like trying to decide for what that meant. What about his skin? Skin? What? <clears throat> it's used to help burn victims. True. That you is true. Cut off his skin? Well, peel off is probably more the correct medical term. Am I right, guys? You want me to have a funeral and have people look at him? Have... Yeah, it would just probably just be a a bone, like a singular bone. But then they'll probably want to harvest that as well for calcium. Oh, Christina. Not really getting the emotions down, are you? Kevin's skin. Who wants Kevin's eyes and skin? What's his name? Who? The patient. What's his name? Kevin. Even I know this. Not a collection of body parts for you to harvest. A person. Ooh. Yeah, Christina needs no to learn. She had a little wake up call early on. Well, you don't owe me anything. I'm just happy we found a liver. They've all got their flaws at the moment, which is interesting. Like, George is just ridiculously stupid. Izzy cares too much. Uh, Christina cares too little. Who else we got? The other guy's just a dork. I don't know what he's about. And then Meredith. Uh, She's not even a know it all, I don't know. Meredith's just, I don't know, on the fence about it. I can be as bold as I want, and there's nothing anybody can say about it. So I flirt. Well, they can say something about it still. Haven't you ever been attracted to someone you know you couldn't have? Meredith. Well, Meredith. No. What's her name? Oh, George. <laughs> Stop really being a pussy, bad. bro. Just say uh, Meredith. Meredith. Mm. To be young and in love. Dap him up then. <laughs> okay. George is so... Why, why even is George? I'm a surgeon. I save lives. This ends one. Wait for it. Wait for it. I know you tried, so no hard feelings, okay? Time to pull the plug. Wait! Watch. Wait for it. Just... You were saying goodbye. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Kevin's gone for good. What's Viper doing here? Viper. Probably crashed his bike again. He's all yours. Yeah, he's had to shoot his shotgun. Viper. Viper? Are you okay? I don't think so. Oh yeah, let's be all dramatic now. Viper. Yeah, he had a he had a fake blood in his mouth and just okay, never mind. <laughs> There's an actual alien inside of him. We're coming in page, Dr. Bailey. Right away, Alex Tell him he's got a bug inside Alex, of him. Push the damn gurney. God, these lots stumble right so away. much. Coming. Move faster, damn it. I know, man. Elevators do be like that. Is Meredith just, like, having a ride? What's going on? Well, this is a new one. Somebody get her off my page. No, because I, I know what she's doing. Oh, my God, don't. <laughs> she's, she's doing that for a reason, Joe. So I, I don't know 99% of the... 
things they do here, but that thing I do know. I'm trying to show off. And Alex, this time that fool is you. Get out. Get right. Me. Me. I don't want to watch him get taken apart. Is he that done? Vultures waiting to make him clean. Oh, no offense, but what do you think? Every last one of them represents someone somewhere who's going to live because of Kevin. Wake Kevin's awake! Come on, Kevin. He wakes up halfway through them harvesting him. I don't know if that's really how it works, but you never know. Do we class Kevin as dead already? I'm going to wait till the end of the app. You never know. I, I think he's dead. If they pull his heart out... <laughs> okay, I think at this point I'm going to just go ahead and class Kevin as, as dead. Rip Kevin. Um, you were death number four. What? Is that like those fake breast implant things? Oh, it's just a little. Get in! I'm gonna sew him up for his family. Oh, they're both she's open. I was gonna say, why did they wait so little time to like see if he'd come back to life? But I guess when you're harvesting organs, you gotta be quick about it. You can't be there like waiting six months and then go harvesting. I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mrs. Davidson. Here are Kevin's eyeballs. He's ready. Like to see him. Imagine. I'm not gonna lie, Kevin's daughter doesn't seem bothered at all. She's like, yes, uh, let's go see Dad's skinless body. He hurled his body down a concrete mountain at full speed for no good reason. Well, for fun. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know you all pierce yourselves and smoke up and generally treat your bodies like your grungy asses can't break down. Hey, hey that's fine. You want to kill yourselves oh my God, flying down a concrete mountain? <laughs> go to it. Your friend Viper, as far as I'm concerned, is not okay. Well, go right. She's, um... Really tired, but and really correct. Gonna make it. <coughs> He's gonna live. Derek, if you say some goofy ass shit, I swear. Everybody go. It's not the chase. Go on then. What? I actually like you, Meredith. And your hair. Oh god, they have chemistry. Damn it, Derek. It smells good. Mainly because of Meredith, though. She's putting in all the work. You're very, very bossy. Kiss then. I'm still not going out with you. Oh yeah, well. You say that now. Oh bro, she said no like 50 times! <laughs> oh! Don't get me wrong, like, I get it Derek, it's Meredith, but... Bro, Derek, I'm not going out with you, ever. It's never gonna happen, it's like... Give it seven days. Try it again the next day. Give it seven days, it's just like, oh my god. Ah, uh, the pretty ones always come falling back. Okay, Keith David. There's another way to survive this comp George has been alright this up to be fair. Credit where credit is due. He had his little am I gay storyline that every TV show has to do, of course. There are no winners or losers. Why's he got AirPods in? Ahead of the time. By the number of lives saved. <laughs> Are we not going to bring up the fact he had a living alien inside of him? We're just going to brush over that one, okay? We were... Hi. We were, ju we were just, uh... Christina made us. Alright. <laughs> and once in a while... Bro, oh, come on. If you're smart, no, to be fair, George has been... Save could be your own. I don't know. What are we watching? Porn. Ooh. This is the one... Um, he's just really surgery. Face off. Yeah. I want to see someone's face being peeled off. Again, even though I don't love... Um, again, I really like Meredith. I really like Christina, still. Even though I don't love any of the others yet, I do like their dynamic together. Like George, Christina, Izzy, and all, like their dynamic together. The only one that stands out to me is... Um, that other guy, not Derek, but the other bloke, he's he's probably maybe worse than George. <laughs> I don't know. That guy is so goofy. I don't know what his mission is in life, other than to be a nuisance, but uh let me get it here. Alex. I thought it was Alex, but I didn't want to say it, but um I'm sorry but I'm a sucker for accents. I love Viper. Our first viewings of Izzy being way too caring. 
um that was a comment on track yeah i like that they all kind of have their flaws like i said um or some that aren't so clear at the moment like i i don't know if alex's is clear yet his flaw is when it comes to being a human being not so much it actually no he's just bad at his job because he fucked up with viper so actually no alex is just bad at his job then george is a doofus <laughs> i don't know that word just came to mind for george so that's what he is um izzy cares too much christina cares too little and meredith is i don't know she's all caught up in this whole romance and everyone has a crush on meredith so there's that there's not really meredith's fault i guess but um yeah i mean she did kiss a patient and then did hook up with derek twice or kissed derek once or done him once and she's told him like this ain't gonna happen about five times in this episode alone but he still think don't get me wrong i'm sure they're going to hook up but derek needs to take a hint bro at this point like if it, if it works and she's like okay you know we'll give it a chance fair enough but this whole like him being like ah give it time it's just a little bit strange <laughs> i don't hate derek but um we'll, we'll see uh, who else we got here preston was fine miranda was fine um richard is probably the most boring out of all of them but he had some screen time and as for our guest stars we had kevin who rest in peace <laughs> kevin died viper um so yeah he's gone well no viper actually lived yeah keith david's 66 he's going to be in chris stuckman's new film as well he was in nope uh what else was keith david in mr robot the flash He's one of those actors that's just been in a bit of everything, I feel. Um, yeah, he's got his cool scene, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was a good episode, I'd say. Better than the last one, maybe. Better than that one, for sure. I don't know, though. I do like the dynamic between all the the main five. I think yeah, I think that works quite well. But uh, yeah, I'll go a 7 out of 10. I think it was good episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. If you do want the early and uncut reactions and patreon will be linked down below and i'll see you next time for episode four until then take care peace